Hey, this is Chris with Affiliate Tube, and today I'm going to be doing a review for you on a product called Viral News Jacker. This is a product that's going to be really good for those of you who use WordPress and want to have an automated WordPress website that grows on its own. Now, there's been quite a few products and WordPress plugins like this come out in the past. A lot of them I did not like. A lot of them seemed like they were just duplicates of previous plugins that had been made before. And in my opinion, the ones that I use, they didn't work very well. And so I haven't been making very many reviews lately just because a lot of the products I've been seeing lately, they just haven't been that high quality. And so I, I got access to Viral News Jacker and I installed it on a WordPress website. Uh, bought a domain name for it and everything to test it to see how well it would work and I'm really impressed with it. So what I'm going to do is I want to take you through the members area and then I'm going to take you inside of my website and show you the plugin, show you the theme, show you how it works. And so if you're interested in buying uh, Viral News Jacker afterwards, I will put a link under this video that will take you to my vidsociety.com website and you can pick it up there you can learn about the pricing you can learn about the upsells and you can pick up a lot of bonuses if you happen to buy it through my website okay so here we are inside the viral news jacker members area everything is laid out for someone who's never even uh, used anything like this before so there's going to be an intro video here and they recommend you join the the live webinar right here which is going to be monday the 14th at 3 p.m you can get extra bonuses here some of the bonuses that you're going to see on my page you're going to find right here to download and the product itself consists of a plugin a WordPress plugin and a WordPress theme so what you're going to do is if you don't have web hosting already um, what I recommend you do is go to cloudhosting5.com that's a hosting company that I've been using and actually transferring my sites over from SiteGround to that company because it is so much cheaper and it is extremely fast as you're going to see when I go into my site here in a little bit but you're just going to install your WordPress plugin on your site you're going to install the WordPress theme you're just going to upload them like you do any other WordPress plugin or theme and then down here is the training and the training is all done uh, by the product creator himself and that is uh, Glenn Kosky and he has a lot of products that come out and most of his products I actually like even though he's one of these guys that launches products frequently I like a lot of his products and he seems to take a lot of time he does a lot of the stuff himself in them and these videos are done very well so basically you're going to come in here you're going to click through he's going to explain to you exactly how to set everything up he's going to show you how to set everything up step by step so if you're not that familiar with WordPress don't worry he goes over every step of it and shows you how to do it and so uh, down here is just another uh, link for the plugin, the WordPress theme. You can join a Facebook group, uh, subscribe to his channel, and there's a lot of extra bonuses on down through here as well. Okay, so these are sites that are based around importing news content from uh, many, many different news sites. And what you do is, I'm going to take you in and show you, but you basically set it up and it will automatically every day import news from uh, multiple different news sources and post it on your site for you. And your site will kind of grow on its own. It has a spinner where you can spin the content to make it more unique. And so once your site starts to grow a little bit, you're going to notice you're going to be getting traffic to your site. And the theme has places where you can insert ads. Uh, you can see a couple banners here. I did not insert any ads yet on my site, but this is a place for one. This is a place for one. I believe it's set up for every fourth post uh, for one of these to show up, but that can be changed to however you want to. Over here on the widget area, uh, you're going to have your most recent post, popular post. So, and, and the popular posts are actually popular posts. So if somebody clicks on one of these posts more often than another, those are the ones that's going to show up at the top, which is really neat because a lot of plugins don't actually work that way. And so uh, let's go ahead inside of WordPress. Now, if you remember, I told you that I host this through uh, cloudhosting5.com and you can see how fast it is. Basically, I click on something and I'm there. And I don't know if you guys have ever used uh, you know like Namecheap or GoDaddy but it does not work that way with them you're waiting and waiting and so I love this company okay so what you're going to do is I'm in my dashboard here 
and we're going to go down to the viral news jacker plugin that we have installed here and we can go to my settings and under your settings is basically where you're going to set up everything okay so uh, this is going to be your setup key it's a free key that you get from a news site that allows you to import all the news content and once you set that up you can set up different settings for your content how it's imported and how you want it to show I didn't bother any of this stuff the way that it was set up I just left it the way it was if you do have a spinner I recommend that you use it to help spin the content and make it more unique and right here you can spin uh, spin text using word synonyms and they do have spin rewriter here which is a service that I use uh, spinrw.com if you've never used that service it is one of the best ones out there uh, once you get this done you can go to posting restrictions and there's some other options here for uh, title word count maximum title word count just different things you can do to really customize it so uh, it works best for however site you want it now here you can have featured image options where you can choose your featured image uh, width, your height you can also integrate it uh, like I did right here with Pexels and or any of these other sites Pixabay and what you can do is is when it imports the news articles you can actually have the the images replaced with images from these sites uh, that way there's no issues with any kind of copyright or anything like that there's places here where you can insert custom HTML codes and ad codes affiliate keyword replacer so you can search for any keywords and you can replace that keyword and link it to a specific link um, to whatever uh, now you can also have social auto posting so once you have these posted what it will do is actually share all these two social sites so if you have extra social sites for Facebook Twitter LinkedIn and Tumblr every time it makes a post it's going to share it and post on these sites and that's going to help you to bring in a lot more traffic also okay if we go to campaigns this is where it all happens so right here you can see that I have six different article sources set up I have them all set up to post two per day as my author um, I'm just the actual user here planet news for you is is my username now what's really great about this is you can actually come over here to users and you can create multiple users and this is really powerful because if you think about it most news sites has multiple authors and what you can do is you can come over here and choose random user for all of these and it will randomly pick between a different user making it look like there's different authors posting to your site when really it's just you and it's automatically doing it all itself um, under settings here you got more uh, options here with how content is posted to your site uh, such as enabling comments generate post language there's different languages it can be converted to different languages uh, categories here what category you want all of your articles posted in image settings you can uh, get featured images automatically and right here's the option to replace the article image with a royalty free image so if you have pexels or pixabay set up it'll automatically replace their image with one uh, through the site and then you have some content here uh, content settings where you can automatically translate content and if you don't have this plug in here I recommend you get it it is an extra cost to do that but it is uh, if, if you work in different languages you may find that very very beneficial okay so once you get this done and once you have all these article sources set up let me go ahead and click in here and show you what's available you can see here all the different article sources that you can choose to pick from to import uh, news from and so if, if you want to have like a sports site on just uh, I believe there's probably ES there's ESPN here so if you just wanted to have one on ESPN on football uh, there's Fox Sports you can create a site just around that if you want to there's TechCrunch so there's a lot of different variations in here wired so if you want to do something like technology you can choose those to import content to and and what what you can do with these sites you can let them go on their own and grow but what I suggest you do is if you have a niche based site based on electronics or whatever it is try to find news articles with that and then what you can do is come into your site and manually add some of your own posts to your website maybe their product reviews um, or, or whatever it may be and then you can uh, use that so all the traffic coming to your site will also see those posts and you can even make more additional sales and commissions but once you get all these set up all you're going to do is make sure these are ticked to be active so they work every day 
or if you want to run them manually you can come over here under actions and you can click run this rule now and it will run it right now and go to abcnews.com and it will find two posts and publish them to your site and it works that way with all of these now if you decide you don't want the post this is made you can move all the posts from this one to the trash or you can just delete all of them okay so that's how it works and then once it's done you're going to have a site that looks like this and you're going to have it, it it actually looks like a pretty good site and I actually had this I, I made this logo or this uh, yeah the logo and put it up here myself for this site because I want to keep this site up and running and just see how well it does over time but so far I am very happy with it now there are settings where you can also go in and you can change a lot of uh, under the appearance if you go to the theme options you have all different kinds of options here where you can change your logo there's a logo in the navigation there's a logo in the sidebar I haven't changed all those yet so if you click this right here it's going to expand over here and I haven't got this menu set up yet so I gotta do that yet um, but you can change the theme light to dark there's different colors you can choose the fonts the home page settings how you want the blog uh, your header ad code this is the every fourth post ad code you saw on my home page there's different article settings you have here article ad codes there's opt-in settings there's an opt-in form on your post so if you go here and if you click on one of these you're going to see the full post and then down here at the bottom you're going to see uh, this is where there's like an ad and then down here you can have this so where it goes to your opt-in so you can grow your email list so that's what this option is for here adding your autoresponder code there's category pages options there's social media this is where you're going to enter all your social media links if you want to use those footer info you can change that here or if you want to upgrade there's a place there to enter license key for additional features and options so that is viral news jacker I think this is a great tool in my opinion for creating an automated site it's one of the best ones that I've seen and I'm telling you guys if you use a hosting account like cloudhosting5.com where you can just click on something and it loads and goes faster it's going to be a lot more convenient for your visitors because for one uh, it's going to load a lot faster they don't have to wait so they're not going to leave and two having a faster site is also going to result in uh, your site ranking better too that's something that Google really takes into consideration whenever uh, it's ranking your site is the speed of your site so make sure whatever web host you do use it's fast and your pages load okay so that's my review for viral news jacker I hope you guys found it useful you can leave a comment below if you got questions I'll try to get to them as soon as I can otherwise there's going to be links under this video that will take you to my site and there's other links under there you may be interested in as well such as joining my Facebook group where we talk a lot about video marketing affiliate marketing just all, all kinds of stuff with uh, making money online uh, you can subscribe to my new my YouTube channel like this video and you'll get notified when I do other product reviews like this so that's it for this review guys have a great day